Polaroid soft white light bulbs. These are true incandescent 60 watt light bulbs with a 710 lumens output and a 1000 hours average lifespan. It looks like these would have originally been sold at the Christmas tree shops. I paid three dollars for the box of eight which is a very good deal. Let's see if we can tell what the original price would have been. We've uncovered the phrase made in China. But I don't think that we're going to have a numerical price on here. Oh, I was wrong. There's a price. Something 69 cents. One dollar and sixty-nine cents, and they charged me three dollars. That's outrageous, outrageous. Well, so I don't know how old this is, but a dollar sixty-nine for eight light bulbs is quite cheap. Now I remember in my lifetime you could get them at the dollar store, a box of four, so that would make them twenty-five cents a piece. This is even cheaper. So Polaroid, I don't know if Polaroid is still around or not, but Polaroid is or was a photography brand. So it would have sold things like, well at the time, film, cameras, etc. I didn't know that uh, Polaroid put its name on other types of products. Polaroid was famous for the the printout cameras I forget what they're called but it was the ones that you you take a picture and then it it prints it out in a couple of seconds so this says the powerhouse group I'm not sure what that is and this is distributed and sold by the powerhouse group Polaroid the Polaroid logo trademarks and the Polaroid trade dress are owned by Polaroid Corporation and are used on this product under license from Polaroid. Polaroid does not manufacture this product or provide any product warranty or support. For service, support, and warranty information, contact the Powerhouse Group. So that answers the question right there. Polaroid has nothing to do with light bulbs. The name is simply there, probably to try to make the product sell. So, these bulbs, there's some miscellaneous ones in here that were just sitting on the shelf so I just stuffed them in here. Uh, these are ShopRite bulbs. This one is... Uh, no, it's, it's worn off so I can't tell. And this one is 100 watts. 100 watts LL white. I don't know what LL white is. But I think other than that, they're all there. Yeah, it looks like they're all still here. Oh, oh, we're missing one. Dang it, I should have put another bulb in here. So we got quite a few of these Polaroid bulbs. So let's see what they look like. They look old to me. They look like they got to be at least from the 90s. They have that kind of grayish uh, frosting on the, on the bulbs as opposed to like this one is a lot newer I think and see how this one is kind of more of a white color I don't know if the video will pick up something that it that's similar but this one is stark white and then this one is more of like a grayish color and it's a completely different shape compared to uh, a standard bulb it's much smaller and more round it actually looked like the picture on here I wasn't sure if that picture was going to be accurate or not but it it does in fact it's a it's an odd shape like it depicted in the picture. It's got this old packaging. I remember at my grandparents' house, my grandfather always kept a bunch of bulbs on hand, and I remember these like uh, ruffled paper packaging very well. In particular, the old uh, General Electric bug lights. 
I have to find where that collection of bulbs is because I know at one point he gave me all the incandescent bulbs he had left and I'm fairly certain that those GE bug lights were in that that collection so I need to find where that is I haven't seen it in a while but I'm, I'm sure it's around I would not have gotten rid of that so the bulb itself is a weird shape hundred and twenty volt Polaroid sixty watts it definitely looks very old to me I would say this has got to be at least twenty years old or more so let's put this in our testing socket and see how this works so we are working at 118.7 the volts it pulls 0 0.49 amps 58 the watts with a power factor of 1 it's already throwing off a lot of radiant heat and it does kind of have that uh, that old bulbs like appearance to me I remember seeing bulbs like this in in restaurants and, and things like that where it had the, the more um, silver looking coating and you could see the filament not like as the wire but you could see a distinct portion of the bulb that was like a a bright ball inside like you can on this one as opposed to like let me see if I can capture that with the camera yeah see how the middle is like you can see where the filament is even though it's a frosted bulb whereas on like newer bulbs where are we at here like in this bulb, you, you don't see that. Of course, that's technically a halogen, but it's the same with with uh, the stark white incandescent bulbs. Let me turn the lights off here, and we'll see see what it looked like. So it's exactly what you would expect from an incandescent bulb. Excellent quality of light no detectable flicker I'm sure it's instant on as well yep it's instant on absolutely no flicker whatsoever and the color rendering is also excellent take a look at our screwdrivers here and you can see the yellow and the red very clearly all the other colors are coming out good. So these are great bulbs. Oh, now it draws 60 watts. Exactly. Alright, so that's it for this one. A box of Polaroid. Incandescent light bulbs. I would say probably at least from the 90s, if not older.